Hey y'all, what's up y'all? Hey divas and divas. I have never had a six by six inch closure. I have been seeing those lately on like AliExpress and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But I have not purchased one. I have not received one. This is the first time that I have gotten one. And this one is already a six by six inch closure wig. Not, I ain't make that. Girl, I make this, okay? This already came like this from a company called Asteria Hair. Let me give you the deets on Asteria Hair. Girl, I worked with them before, like, I'm gonna say like about a year ago, but I probably worked with them in total range of six times. So maybe not even a year ago, maybe a little bit less than that, but you know, I can't be, I just can't remember everything. They sent me their six by six inch closure wig. Okay, so I don't know if you want to call it a lace closure wig. It's not a lace front, but it damn near is almost can be one. You get a little bit more space, which is good. Even though it's only two inches, two inches add up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Two inches is good. Not for everything. Okay. All right. So it's 24 inches. I bleached the knots on it. It melted like butter honeys. Like the hairline on this closure was bomb. Like it wasn't anything straight across. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's 180% density and... To so some, it might be a little bit costly because it is $239, but I'm going to say if you wanted a $150 or let's just say $130 because I don't really think like for this because it's curly, you don't need a lot of density. So for 130% density, the price would be $220. So you save like $19, okay? And if you wanted a, they also have 250% density. You do not need that much hair, but you know, for those who like it, it's 265. And for like lesser inches, let's say 18 inches in 130% density is going to cost uh, $156. And 20 inches in 130 density is 183. So, you know, the shorter it is, the less it'll cost. Um, I don't really wear too much 24 inches, but I figured I would give it a try. I went ahead and I bleached the knots already in a unit. And I did, I did tweeze some of the hairline, even though it really didn't need much. And I put in an elastic band. So the wig cap looks just like this. This is it right here. And then there's combs on the side. And then there's the comb and the adjustable strap in the nape, which is standard. But you're getting a lot of parting space. You're not going to get anything on the side. So this is where you're going to want to finagle it with your own hair if you're wearing it up in a certain type of style but you know it's just tracks all around and it's really rather nice like it came out really nice i think the hair texture is pretty and curly so we're just gonna make this quick we're gonna get into this and i will see you guys in a second all right all right all right so you guys first of all i want to say say a huge shout out and thank you to Asteria hair because they have been so patient with me for this video and i totally respect that and i thank them so kindly as a lot of companies do not do that but i've worked with Asteria hair for quite a while and i will be honest to say they do have some very good quality hair and this six by six closure wig girl is a lifesaver so for those of you guys who do not like lace frontals and are afraid to venture out into just longer lace on the sides of your head start in little steps like with a six by six closure wig this does give you the room to do a little bit more parting though some people may say it's only two inches honey two inches does go a long way not for everything girl but for some things so i think like the six by six closure was an amazing amazing suit for me now I to make mine look a little bit longer like a little bit longer than a six by six I just kept the edges of the actual closure as you see me right here taking out the baby hairs or the wispy hairs whatever I just kept those a little bit longer definitely at the very end on the sides of the closure because that way I can you know control the hair better and such and good things like that now let's keep in mind I did do a boo-boo a huge mistake to the unit which was I pre-plucked it, and, well, excuse me, I bleached it, and then I sat the actual purple shimmer light shampoo on the closure for so long, like for hours and hours, longer than normal because I was really busy and I actually forgot to be honest. Um, I kept it on there for so long that it kind of like lightened the actual base of the closure itself so unfortunately you know that was my mistake not a bad one you know you can definitely spray it with like a tinting um spray that you can purchase if you ever do make this mistake you know tinting sprays are amazing i purchased some from crown tint and i absolutely love it and had i had it on hand 
before this video because this video is like a couple months old I would have definitely used it but I did not have any on hand so I was forced and left to use my makeup which I then noticed after the video was done and so forth that the product the makeup product that I put on to the actual closure was a little bit too much and a little bit too light but unfortunately when you're doing this on camera you don't get to see the mistakes and the color so when you do see me at the end you know what I'm saying please keep in mind that this was out of control due to me putting way too much product on my lace now as you see right here the lace melts pretty well and it, it melts pretty decent in my skin so I did go overboard with the actual you know press powder and concealer you know what I'm saying so this is the part where I'm about to go overboard like I killed it but you know once I washed it off it came out really decent looking it came out perfect you know what I'm saying um, I just really wish that I would have had the tinting um, spray on my on hand at the time I was not aware that there was such a thing as tinting spray at the time of me you know creating this video or any wig at that most but I will say it does come in hand so definitely check out crown um, tinting crown I think that's the name but all in all the experience with Asteria hairs wig was amazing they have great workmanship they have great customer service their prices are phenomenal as well as just them as a whole company I think they really are underrated and for me I say definitely check them out this hair remains so soft and it's so lustrous and it has like this very pretty sheen to it you know what I'm saying I really enjoy Enjoyed this curl pattern a lot and like I said I want to thank them so kindly for being so patient but your girl did go overboard with the makeup you know what I'm saying it might not show as much um in this portion of the video but it definitely showed in the pics so you know don't come for me honeys and say anything about my lace frontal because I already know hello but I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video you know enough of me rambling on we gonna get to the end of this because I don't want to have you guys sitting for too long but I still look cute though hey still look cute mm -hmm. yep I like the six by six inch closures like I know two inches is not a lot it's definitely not a lot but it does make a difference on certain things I bleached the knots in the lace and then I went ahead and used the well the fake brand the Sally Beauty shimmer lights I used the purple shampoo and I let it sit on here for like two hours so it ended up turning the lace transparent like a very very light light color like the hair texture is soft this is 24 inches it's a lace closure six inch wig this is cute like okay so it was two thirds but you know I think it's really cute some people might be like well for that much I could just give me a lace front okay you, you probably can okay mm -hmm. but just keep in mind that this is long super long like dumb long and 180% density not 250 if it was 250 I don't know how big this would be but I think it looks really cute Asteria hair does have some really nice hair you guys and I think like this I've never had a wig by them Oh, am I lying? I don't remember because I know I have bundle here by them. So I'm not really sure if I ever had a wig by them, but I don't think I did. But I think like this wig is really nice. You know what I'm saying? It's not too silky like texture. So it has like an in-between type of, it's, it, you know what? I think the texture is nicer than silky, silky, too silky because you can just kind of like fluff this out. And this gives you a more natural look. When it's too silky, I don't think like the curls fluff up so good. That's in my opinion. It shed a little bit, like, you know, not like majorly. I'm not sure if that was the hair or when I was tweezing the hair out that, that you know what I'm saying? It's from here to here. And that's a decent amount. All you're missing is this part, girl. So just go ahead and paste your own hair down. I'm not one for all the baby hairs. Baby hairs on a closure. And this is the 24 inch 6x6 six six lace closure, 180% density, and it is available on their website. I'll post all the information below for you guys. Let me know what you think. She's cute. I have been doing like a lot of curly units lately, but this one I think is a rather cute. All right. So I will see you guys in a soon to come video. I love you. Stay diva and delicious, and have a great week.